Hey everyone, today's video is a makeup for one of the many Monster High dolls. Let's get started. I start off by priming my eyelid with NARS eyeshadow primer. Taking a chocolate brown pencil, I start mapping out my cut crease. Then I slightly blend it all out with an angle brush. Next I take a dark brown shadow from the BH Cosmetics Malibu palette. I blend that on top of where I applied the pencil, gently blending it up. Going back to that same palette, I pick up this warm orangey shadow and blend out the brown. Taking the BH Cosmetics Hollywood palette, I pick up this matte black. I apply it into the crease to help deepen it up. To better blend out the black, I take that dark brown again and gently blend it on top. Next I take a gold loose shadow from Strobe Cosmetics. I apply that underneath my brow with a fluffy brush to meet up with the brown. I also apply it all over my lid. Then I blend the gold into the brown with a fluffy blending brush. Next I take this LA Splash Sealer and apply it on top of the gold shadow. We actually have a coupon code for you guys for LA Splash and I will link that down below if you want to check that out. Before the sealer dries, I take a gold glitter from Lit Cosmetics and apply it all over my lid. Next I line my top lid with Irma Decay's 24-7 liquid liner. I create a really extended wing line. Usually it would be pretty difficult to apply liner over glitter, but this one had no problems going through the glitter. It powered through like a champ, so I definitely recommend it. Next I mix these three Snazaroo face paints to get this light green color. I mix the yellow, the blue, and the white, and a lot of the white to make it look very pastel. I begin applying it with a brush. Then I go in with a damp Real Technique sponge and really blend it into my skin. I gently apply the face paint around my eyes to not disrupt the eye makeup. To set everything I just applied, I tap on Ben Nye's Neutral Set Powder. Next I take a light green and a light blue shadow and better blend my eye area with the rest of my face color. To finish up my eyes, I line my waterline and my lower lash line with Urban Decay's Perversion Pencil. Then I blend the BH Cosmetics Black Shadow over the pencil to blend it out. I forgot to mention that I popped in one blue contact and then one green contact. I take that gold shadow again and gently apply it underneath the black. For my top lashes, I use Wicked Witch and I trim the bottom lashes from the Mesmerizing set and pop those on underneath. Both of these lashes are from Fright Night. And this is how they look on. I just love how they came out. It looks very doll-like. For my contour, I take this Kelly Green shade and this Sky Blue shade. I start bringing out my cheekbones and then I shade around my hairline and anywhere else I would normally contour. So I made a boo-boo and made her more green than blue, so I went over everything with this light sky blue shadow. It took forever, but it really got the job done and I really like how it came out. Next I mixed the gold loose shadow with a liner sealer and I started creating the gold stitch mark she had under her right eye. I also used that wet gold shadow to make the gold pop just a little bit more underneath my eye. To line my lips, I use this baby pink liner and I start creating my lip shape. She had pretty full lips, so I just went a little bit over my natural lip line. Next I take this baby pink lipstick and apply that over the top of the liner. Next I take this purpley pink gloss and apply that over the top. For the last finishing touch, I create a stitch mark all along my neck using that same wet gold shadow. To make them stand out more, I shade around them with a dark brown shadow. I blend out the dark brown to give them a little bit more definition and dimension. You don't have to do this part, I just feel like it really added to the look. She also had some stitches on her arms and her legs. And you're done. 
I hope you all enjoyed this video. Don't forget to follow us on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook, and I will see you in the next one. Bye!